Uh, good evening, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Anna and the organizing committee for giving us, giving me the, the, the opportunity to, to, to talk about this, our dear project. You have mentioned data.bnf is actually one of our, our role model to, to follow. Um, I'm touching this presentation, putting link data to work, because today I'm, I'm focusing in this presentation on using link data for the final user, for the common not technological user, by profiting from the flexibility that link data grants to provide in design and uh, access to resources. Uh, actually, uh, Datos uh, Mini uh, was born in 2011. Uh, it was first launched as a proof of concept of experimenting with both linked data and, world, uh, and with uh, IFLA models, then the FRBR then and the ISBD vocabularies. It was based in on analyzing and transforming traditional legacy data into FRBR-like structures and publish it under linked data principles. Back in that time, only a selection of suitable records were used, and the result was made available mainly as raw RDF data. Three years later, in 2014, the project was relaunched with a new view, with a new focus. The, this aim was to enhance and use this data, this base data we produce, to experiment with new data visualizations for the final user, for the common users, based again uh, in FRBR concept, uh, LRM didn't exist yet, and encompassing all the data, both the bibliographic data and also the authority data, and finally the holdings and item uh, data in a later stage. Uh, so thus it was born, that was not BNE, uh, the portal and the interface with the goal of all the hidden relationships and the hidden data already existing in records, uh, thus uh, allowing users to access them uh, in a different approach. Uh, it was and it is still a completely functioning library catalog with services like uh, ordering reproductions or records, items, availability for reading rooms, and other connected to other library services, uh, the digital library and other external sources. And now its discoverability by search engine was uh, really Okay, so uh, summing up, uh, that has been is a really fully functioning link database gateway into the library resources. I mean, as the other catalog, the bibliographic records, but also the data about authors, the data about subject vocabularies, the data about items, the data about provenance marks, and connected to all the usual library service. But it does not, uh, this is for me very important, it does not intend at this moment to substitute the official catalog who is still running because it provides other services and can be useful for other kind of researchers. Um, but it, 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 they both coexist. The, the data goes from the traditional catalog to datos.pe uh, once in a month and takes uh, uh, both five to seven days Access all the data into the into the, the portal. The main feature it is uh, LRM based. Uh, it is an entity based structure. It is it performs an entity driven uh, search, and it presents results based on a ranking by guided by entity based search, and it also presents data that is linked and enriched a link between them. Uh, building, uh, I'll go back uh, in, uh, with it in, in five minutes, uh, interlink between the different LRM entities and link to other uh, prominent equivalent concept of entities from other data sets. The basic data model underlying data is uh, really inspired by the LRM, LRM model. It has, uh, as you see, persons and corporate bodies that works 
it also has manifestations, uh, subjects. It also has expressions, in a way, items. And finally, the, from the last year, it has also provenance, mass, provenance marks. All the, all, most of the classes are related between them. Uh, right now, it has more than two million works, entities, uh, more than nearly one million and a half person entities and 300,000 uh, 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 Let me tell you, I, I'm not going, uh, I'm not doing a, a leaf demo because it, it, I would run out of time. Let me see just some basic uh, navigation features. features. Um, the main search results are the, base, the, the basic entities of the models, as you see in these examples, I search Rotterdam, and the results are, uh, I'm sorry because it is in Spanish only, uh, uh, the, the results that are ranked by and sorted by uh, entities for the model, this means corporate bodies, works, uh, persons, and subjects. And the cell results are ranked according to the data model, and the main result is, as you see from Erasmus of Rotterdam, is highlighted because this is the, the entities more height with, with more uh, relations with other entities. Um, once in a person entities, the works are the, the entity work is the one selected to arrange search results. This is the works from Erasmus of Rotterdam. They work with more relationships, with more editions, are ranked first, and users can get a quick view of the most, uh, I would say, successful works for authors, and can get more quickly all the editions of one work if this is what researchers want. Uh, the, here is the expression of the expression of textual researches, which is the language, are used to sort through the editions of works, as we see here. The expression with more relations is, is so is so is in Latin. The flexibility granted by having distinct classes of, of an objects provides the opportunity to enhance search capabilities, which is rarely seen in, in, in traditional catalogs, as this, as I see, you see here, searching for authors based on their attributes like dates, related dates, or places of birth, or profession, or titles, or uh, areas expertise, or uh, occupations. This is an enhanced search feature that obviously the traditional catalog does not provide. Uh, this is the, the, the provenance mark. This is uh, really it's still in 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 a, in a beta version. It is we are still trying to adjust. This is the last addition to the model. Last year it has allowed to, in a way, seamless integrate a database of marks provenance. That's what outside the the catalog, and and collectors into the data workflows. And it is also so in the same level that other uh, other uh, library resources. Uh, that does not mean it performs also automatically automatically some data and region from outside sources, as we can see here the uh, Belgian author Josie Menon. Uh, the, this is the page, the landing page for the resources of Gimenon in the library, in the National Library. As you see, there is some biographic test and a picture that are taken for the DBpedia in this case. And it is incorporated into, it is, this is not in the library, this is only in Vettas.bini. There is also the same data services beyond that. As we see, we have a sparkle endpoint for searching all the all the data set. There is also a search API. Uh, there is also content uh, negotiation for accessing given resources. And there is also data bond, data dumps of all the data, of the door raw data. It is available in the library's uh, open data repository. 
and as in theology used for this uh, version, the proof of concept version, only if the vocabulary is what primarily used from uh, a per year, and ISVD and all the family of, uh, of models. Uh, for the, we, we run into problem because the, the, in 2014 data become more complex, so it was very difficult to maintain and to and to adjust to different constraints of the vocabulary. So finally, it was decided back then to use, <coughs> sorry, an in-house ontology uh, that was developed. Some properties are selected purpose are used for RDA. Uh, directly on for Dublin Core, but uh, instead alignments from that has been uh, from ontology to mainly RDA and ISVD are provided in this documentation. Uh, <clears throat> so let me take you uh, for one second behind the scene how this is how this work uh, from flat from flat mark we are building entity based structure for flat map records. The key to the process is an in-house software called Marimba, who is written in Java, who uh, actually performs and runs the data analysis from Mark 21 records, the mapping, the sorting, the link data generation, and finally the linking and enrichment. From there, there is a publication pipeline. All, all, is, uh, all software uses open source. Uh, once data is generated, in the RDF generated is stored twofold, one from the front end and from the triple, triple store. And the indexing for the web is made in, in Elasticsearch. Uh, Marimba, uh, this is more or less how Marimba, Marimba works. Uh, the ingestion, it performed three mappings, one for sorting the data and the records into what it belongs to. This sorting is based on records. Uh, the mapping two is the one that performs the entity linking. And the uh, mapping, the, the third mapping uh, goes to the data which is taken from Mark subfields. And then goes the LDF uh, gener generation. This mapping is quite simple for a librarian because it's governed by that and easily modified by the spreadsheet. But you can select the the, the properties from Bini, from Bini ontology, for other ontologies. Uh, for this use in in, in datos.bini, many operations we have performed many operations of data enrichment in the last year in order mainly to populate the records with data useful for Marimba to use. The main source obviously is the everyday job, the data produced by catalogers. Our LDA guidelines in the BNE has been adjusted to create data more suitable or more friendly for data's BNE. And other the sources of the data imported has been varied this all this year. The main import of data from Wikidata straight into 80,000 authority records. I put some presentation I made uh, before COVID in hand, if you are interested. Oh, sorry. Uh, the good outcome, outcomes for all this year have been this. Datos.bene URIs can be found right today elsewhere as a way to increase trust and reliability and visibility in other sources. LRN clustering is a good reference tool for users or for librarians. Uh, data model has proved to be flexible enough to extend the model as in provenance marks. And we have found great improvements in interoperability with search engines and increasing web exposure and discoverability. Let's go into this. There is some interest uh, outcome. Link data publishing allows libraries to find users in the web, as you all know. Uh, not the other way around, to make some person in the internet who never thought to drop by a library a user. Uh, this is the, one of the good and the bad things we have found on, being, uh, on having such exposure. These are all taken from real cases. There is also some drawbacks. That has been a, that has not been a, uh, doesn't look like a library scene, so many people doesn't know where they have landed. 
and also the increased exposure in the internet, in the internet meets some authors I delighted with it, I have data, but also there are all the authors that want to be, one doesn't want to be service box in the internet. Uh, the, uh, as for LRM, LRM, my experience is, that is very useful as a general model and for grouping related things, but uh, the user don't talk at their BS, so we should avoid using those concepts. Uh, this is to be continued with more content and more entities and more relationships and a better descriptions in the future. Uh, this, has, this is made by a very short uh, number of people from the technical processes of the IT department and also from technological. One last, one last thing I, I like to say that datos.pne is one of the policies of the, uh, of the data point, open data policies from the library that uh, allows, uh, follows, we follow, but, but I think an, an expansive and exhaustive policy of free and open data in several uh, flavors. And I think that's all for me. I have for four minutes for questions or comments. Thanks for your attention.